Good evening, church. Welcome to Thursday, where it's time for Thursday Thoughts, where I tell you some thoughts I've been thinking on a Thursday. Now, uh, I've become aware that there is a, a school of thought, a way of thinking, a, I don't know, a really bad thought that's been going around saying that if, if you don't consume and, and seek out and regularly consume um, all of the stories out there about all of the bad things that are going on, then like you don't care about the world or you're not really an activist or you're just not really trying to change things. Um, and I'm here to tell you that uh, not only is that a very wrong idea, it's a very bad idea. And here's why. We're not built to handle all of the bad news. We're not built to continually be saturated and consumed by all of these negative things, right? Our brains are still really primitive, okay? We're still like geared up for back like hunter-gatherer days, right? For as advanced as our society and our technology has gotten, our, physiologically, we haven't changed a lot in a very, very long time. So we are built for handling adverse situations in the short term, not for consistently long periods of time, which means we gotta take a break. We gotta take a break from hearing this stuff, from seeing this stuff, and not only that, we are just incapable of caring about everything, okay? You cannot care about the entire world all at once. Because here's the thing, there's uh, between uh, like 12 and 13,000 people uh, in, in Streeter, Illinois. And there's about 110,000 people in LaSalle County and another 36,000 in Livingston County. There's something like 12, 13,000, sorry, 12, 13 million people in the state of Illinois, 333 million in the U.S., and 8.1 billion people in the world. No one has the mental capacity or the emotional capacity to carry the load of the problems of every single one of us. We don't even have the capability to carry the load of everyone in this town. So when we try to do that, we are gonna get beat down, we are gonna get depressed, we're going to get hopeless, and hopeless is a very dangerous thing to be, both for ourselves and collectively, because when you're hopeless, you accept the inevitability of the awful situation and you stop trying. You stop trying to change anything because you don't think it's possible. And on top of that, you're still miserable. Over the past few years, I've, I, I, I've, I don't know if I developed this criteria or if I just had this approach to uh, when I see, hear, see or hear about the, the bad things happening, right? And I, I, I don't know if, if, if it's right, if it's wrong. I'll probably need to change it at some point because that's how growth works. Um, but in order to, but it, this has helped my mental state greatly. Whenever I read or see something bad is happening, I ask myself two questions. Does it affect the people I care about? And is there anything I can do to try and change it? Now, if the answer to both is no, well, then I don't care. I don't worry about it. I not to say that I don't care about it, but I mean, I just, I can't do anything about it and it's not immediately affecting the people that I really care about. Uh, there's no point in worrying. If the answer is yes to, yes, it's people you care about, but no, you can't do anything to change it. Well, I still, I still am concerned about it and I might try and like, you know, make my, make people I care about feel a little better or at least be there for them, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, at least I'm going to worry about it, but not as bad as I used to. But if the answer to the second question is yes, I can do something about it, then I still don't worry about it. I do something about it. If you do something about it, you get that worry out of your head. Now, and that, and that even includes, you know, whether it's about people I care about or people I don't care about. Now, for, for some of us, our definition of the people who, who that we care about could just be like your immediate family and your close friends. But for a lot of us, we might expand that definition. We might expand it out to uh, marginalized groups here in the U.S., or we might expand it to the people of Gaza, the people of Ukraine. And that might be enough that we, we say, you know, I just, I, I can't not worry and I, I can't not do something about this stuff. And so if you can't 
put it, put it aside. If you can't just say, yes, this is awful, and I'm sorry, and move on, find a way to help. You might think it's too far, you might think it's too big, but there's something you can do to help. Get in contact with those who are helping and do something. What can you do to help? I don't know, depends on the problem. Go find out. Could be donating money, could be getting personally involved. It could mean a career change for you where you devote your working life to try to solve the problem. But here's the thing, you've gotta set boundaries, you gotta set priorities because you can't, you can't care about everything because it'll destroy you. Really, in some ways, caring about everything means caring about nothing because, well, you can't fix everything. So my advice is to consciously choose what are the things, who are the people that I'm imminently going to care about? And when things affect them, what am I going to do to help? That's my advice, folks. You can take it. You cannot think up something of your own, but you got to have something to keep yourself sane. And you got to think up something to actually try and help somewhere. Let us pray. Gracious God, help us to discern those things which are our highest priorities. Send to us those, those, those people, those causes that you are calling us to, to care the most about. And Lord, help us to find a way to be a part of the answer to our prayers that we pray for these people. Lord, help us to find joy and to keep going in the midst of dark times. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you found this beneficial, share it with your friends. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and be kind.